Hey there, welcome back. On this episode of Unusual Foods, we're going to be taking a look at this big green and yellowish thing, which is called the Santa Claus melon. So this thing originates from Spain, and it's called this because it lasts, well it's actually, this other nickname is Christmas melon. So they grow in the fall and they'll actually last until Christmas, which is how it got its name. And so they'll actually, you can just sit them, um, you can have them on your counter and they'll ripen or very slowly ripen over months and won't rot. So you can eat this on Christmas day. And this just showed up in the grocery store. They only had three of them. I've never seen it there before. So pretty cool. So we're gonna try this out today. And um, yeah, I'll give you a taste test of what this thing tastes like. So we need a knife. So not the most ideal knife, but uh, we'll make it work. Very interesting texture. It's kind of rough. I'll just cut it in this way since I got a small knife. It cuts through really easily. And look at that. This looks um, perfectly ripe. Yeah. Okay, so I grabbed a spoon here so we can test out how soft this is. Um, I'm probably gonna keep some of these seeds too. And I can uh, grow some of my own. Okay, so now I've got a nice juicy piece right out of the um, center here with no rind on it. Um, the texture, it's, it's more firm than a honeydew or cantaloupe and it's obviously more whitish. It has kind of a golden center though, very wet and juicy. It smells kind of mildly sweet. It's not like punching you in the face. Hmm. So it's, it's very, um, very juicy and the texture is very crisp yet soft. So it's like it's held together in a crisp way but when you actually bite through it's pretty soft. It's softer than it looks. And if you look on the edges, it actually looks like there's a slight kind of membrane or some sort of translucent edge on it, which is what the crisp aspect is that's holding this thing together. Hmm. So it's not, um, it lives up to its reputation. It's not as strong of a flavor as cantaloupe, like a really good cantaloupe, but the taste is very good. Uh, it's like kind of a, Hmm. I keep talking with my hands when I do this. Hey, Luigi! It's got like a, I don't know, it's like a unique like melony taste to it. It's like if you ever had a wax apple, it's very refreshing, full of juice and like kind of a light and sweet. It's kind of like the wax apple of melons. Wax apple is very mild. I wouldn't put this as very mild. It's more of a mild flavored melon. The center part, where most of the juice is, is definitely sweeter. And there's a bit of rind left on here. Um, it's definitely sweeter. It's kind of got its own taste to it that's somewhere floating around if you have honeydew and cantaloupe and in the middle, except it's like up here somewhere. It's not quite in the middle, it's got its own melony taste to it. There's a bit of um, papaya and maybe watermelon flavors in there. Very juicy, very, um, very like rich in water. So yeah, I mean, I definitely, I'd recommend this one. Two thumbs up if you um, ever see this or you can get one of the farmer's market over, try it out. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to subscribe, uh, hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. And until the next one, have a great day.